Good day viewers, Sepp here. What I thought we'd do today is we're going to go through Caravan GTM, Gross Trailer Mass. Now in my previous video on weights, I went through GVM, GCM, ATM, but I specifically left off GTM. I thought we'll do that as a separate video because it I didn't want the original video to be too confusing and for, and run too long. So this one will be about GTM. I've got a board set up over here. Let's get into it. Okay, caravan, GTM, gross trailer mass. Now each of your caravans, the later model ones, will have a compliance plate. And that's supplied by the chassis manufacturer. And they'll have things like GTM, Axle group load capacity, ATM, ball load. Now there'll be others as well, but these are the ones we're going to concentrate on. So, GTM, what does it mean? Okay, what it is, is it's the maximum weight of the caravan, including its payload, that can be transmitted to the ground via the axles, wheels and tyres. Now, it does not include the ball weight. When the caravan and the car is hooked together, part of the weight of the caravan is carried by the car on the ball. So this GTM does not include the ball weight. So we're not to get confused with axle group load capacity. Now that's the maximum weight the axle or axles can support. That's also on your compliance plate, or some late model ones will have that. So, what we'll do is we'll go through a couple of scenarios to give you an idea how it's calculated. So, we've got one, two, three, four scenarios. Now, let's, let's look at this one, and this is my own caravan. And we look at the ATM, and this is on the compliance plate, 2,600 kilos. The ball load is 140 kilos. And the GTM is 2,460 kilos. So that 140 kilos is the ball loading tear. So that's without anything in the caravan. No water, no cooking utensils, no anything. Just the tear weight as it comes. That's what the ball loading will be. So, but in reality, once we load the van, we're not going to have that ball weight. It's going to be heavier. Now I normally like to work on eight to nine percent. So for the exercise, we're going to work on nine percent of the ATM. Now in this scenario here, nine percent of 2,600 is 234, 234 kilos. So that will be the ball load that I would roughly run 210, 220, 230 thereabouts. It'll vary a little bit, just and it even varies when you're on your trip, especially if you're on a big trip and you're using your water and whatever else. So we subtract that from that, ball load from ATM, and that gives us 2,366 kilos. Now that's the GTM number. So I know if we run with that ball load, and we got that much, and we got that weight, the ATM at 2,600, we've got that ball load, I'm going to be under my GTM. Because that's the maximum you can have, maximum you can weigh. So let's have a scenario where we overload the, the ATM, the caravan, by 200 kilos. Now, if I want to still continue with my 9% loading, that gives us 252 ki kilos of ball load. Now, when we take that away from that, that gives us 2,548 kilos, which means we're going to be over our GTM. So just by adding 200 kilos extra, Keeping our ball weight around that 9%, 10% is usually the, the rule of thumb, eight, between 8 and 10%, we're going to be over. So what happens if I think, say to myself, I would still want to carry the 200 kilos overweight, which I wouldn't, but let's just assume that scenario happens. So you've got eight, ATM of 2,800, you take away your GTM of 2,460, that means I need to run a ball loading of 340 kilos. 
Now the problem with that is our car can only take 300. So now we've got the car tow ball being overloaded. We've also now got 12.2% of the ATM as the ball load. So we've got overloading of the ATM. We've got overloading of the car. So considerations. Now, whether you're overloaded or not overloaded, just in general this is, you need to make sure that your wheels are rated to take your GTM, your tyres are rated correctly, and of course your axles are rated to make sure you can take that GTM. And especially if you're overloading, well then you could be in a world of trouble. And we all like to travel around safely, we want to be compliant, and of course, if you're not, well, there's a fair chance if you have a problem, you're going to be in trouble with the insurance company. So there you have it. Pretty quick explanation, but that's how GTM works and what you need to really consider when you're out there, of course, loading your van up and making sure that you, you meet all your compliance plate weights. So I'll say thanks for watching. Take it easy and see you on the next one.